folks, this is Wayne O, back with another lesson and an absolutely stonking tune as always today, the specials and a message to you Rudy. Always love this song uh, and it's fairly easy to play, it's a great one if you're getting into bar chords because it's pretty much, well it is, the same chord progression all the way through. Uh, if you do find you know bar chords really difficult, I'm going to show you sort of an easy version as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and first of all, I'm just going to show you you know an easy sort of strum along version, which uh, and with it being the same chord progression all the way through, you know if you are a complete beginner, there's nothing wrong in playing it like this. So the first chord will be a C, and then we got an F. Now it's up to you whether you do the regular F major 7, I think a good one would be the F major 7 with the C basin. If you're a regular to my videos, I use this chord a lot, so that's basically taking a regular F major 7, and it's just a case of moving your third finger to the third fret on the A string, a little pinky will go on the third fret on the D. And then we're going to go to a G. It's up to you what G you use, but I personally, you know, I'd use the four finger G, so what we get is a C. Stop your messing around Better think of your future Okay, and obviously if you you know if you're a beginner there's nothing wrong with just you know playing those chords and playing it what I call straight with just the one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Uh, but I think if you want to get that reggae sort of authentic feel, I think you're going to get that by playing bar chords. So if you look where we can play the bar chords, so basically it's a C, so you could either play it off the fifth, you know, the fifth string root, and it's going to be an F, which I play there, and we're going to also play a G as well. But I think uh, I like playing the C there, up on the, you know, barring the eighth fret and putting like the major shape chord on. I just think it cuts through, you know, it's a little bit higher up in the register, so it, uh, I think it cuts through a little bit better, so I personally like that one. So we'd have a C, F, G, F, G. You know, some, you know, all major chords, so we can just keep that shape on, so that E shape within the bar chord. Stop you messing around. Okay, now if you want to get that reggae feel, it's all about that doing that, you know, that what we call chucking. Uh, and that is just, you know, when you do a bar chord, it's just letting the pressure off the bar, keeping the fingers in place, but just not pressing down to get that. So. See that strumming pattern there, so go down, up, down, down. And obviously it's just letting, you know, you know, every now and again the pressure off the fingers so you get that. Okay, not easy to do that, but a great one to practice and uh, like I said, it's a good one if you're just getting into bar chords. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. You can't beat a bit of the specials. And if you are a big fan of the specials, I've also done Ghost Town. So if you want to check that out as well, just put Wayne R, guitar in, and Ghost Town the specials. And you'll see uh, a great tutorial I did for that. A similar sort of thing, you know, with the bar chords and everything. So uh, there you go. And I think, you know, this is a great song to get down if you're a, a busker or, you know, playing at open mics or, or even in a band. You know, really simple to play as well. Just that same chord progression all the way through. So, like I said, I hope you all dug that. Uh, if you got any other requests for any, you know, not just special songs, you can request more special songs if you want. I am a big fan. Uh, but, you know, anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic guitar. A lot of you know the drill now. You can either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days is on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter and now also Instagram. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow on those platforms anyway. But that way I always say, you can, you know, if you want to, you can send me a personal message requesting a song. And I do always reply to messages, 
you just got to respect to get hundreds of requests and I do sort of have to hemp at them a little bit so but please do keep them coming don't let I put you off the end of the day that's what keeps this channel going you know your requests and your input uh, thanks everyone for the continued support thanks everyone who subscribed as always you know really means a lot really appreciate it one way that you could help me out uh, first of all I'd really appreciate if you you know like this video uh, that helps me out a lot and another thing you could do hit that little notification bell down there but I'd really appreciate that so every time I post a video up, which is either once twice three times a week if I get around to it you can get on the video straight away and uh, and another way that you could help me out I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you know anyone who, uh, who isn't subscribed to my channel uh, you know point them in my direction anyone you know work colleague or a friend or anyone you know who uh, you know messes around playing on a guitar maybe put them in my direction it uh, would be nice to give uh, um, you know a little bit of inspiration so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon take care